What's up guys? This is I Snipe for Heads. And today I'm going to show some great applications for some Star Citizen Immersion. This application is called Touch OSC and it runs on an iPad or Android. And you can create UI elements. And uh, it's going to show some uh, coupling. Just a quick demo of it here. Affirmative 30 meters, you have the call. Landing modules retract. Preparing for jump. Jumping. All right, there's basically four pieces of software that I use for this setup. The first being Touch OSC. Touch OSC is an iPad or Android application for controlling like DJ equipment, uh, recording software DAOs, Anything that communicates via MIDI, this thing can communicate to it, like lighting equipment um, and whatnot. Second piece of software is Touch OSC Editor. Um, this is what where you uh, lay out your controls and basically lay out your UI. Um, the third piece of software is called Touch OSC Bridge. It is the component that basically connects your iPad to your computer um, or Android and uh, get them communicating to your uh, fourth piece of software which is voice attack uh, voice attack is 10 bucks um, but it's worth every penny and if you don't know what voice attack is then you have your head in the dirt so how this works is with touch osc editor you can come in here and you can lay out your controls however you want them. Um, you can have multiple pages here. I just have two, but uh, you can right click up here and say add page. Um, this will add a third page. You can come over here to label. Um, the state is, is this the, the, is this is the active state, inactive state, um, and the state of all. I usually do all. What do you want this color to be? You can say blue. I have an outline uh, or a background. I don't normally use backgrounds, but and then you can label this uh, whatever you want. I'll say shields. And now I have a shield page that I can lay out controls and whatnot. Say I want a label for a border over here. I have an outline, no background, and no label text. And say I want it to be blue. There's blue, right click, push button. And you can see how quickly you can start laying out controls. Um, easy breezy, easy peasy. Now on the buttons side, um, there's three things you can send. You can send OSC control, MIDI control. We don't want any of that. We send key commands. Um, in order not to interfere with any other key bindings I may have, I usually do a control shift and alt, um, and then I select, um, through the gambit of choices here. Um, so say control alt sh uh, shift, uh, zero. Um, that's the key command I will send if I press this. Um, you can send on press, send on release. That'll do a double trigger. You don't want that. So I usually do send on release and I turn local feedback off. Um, at some point, if Star Citizen gets an API where we can get data out of Star Citizen, we can get two-way communication. And at that point, we're we'll prob probably not be using uh, sending key commands or well, maybe sending key commands, but at some point we will probably would want to get it to sending and receiving um, OSC stuff, but that's going to require a, another piece of so software that is going to need to be developed. But I have to wait it, uh, to develop that until Star Citizen gets some type of API. 
so I can get two-way communications for that. But at this point, we don't have it, so we send key commands. Um, two things to note on um, is the TouchOSC bridge that connects the um, iPad or Android to the computer. Uh, when you run that, you would want to run that as uh, administrator, much in the same way as the uh, as the fourth fourth piece of software that I showed you, which is uh, Voice Attack. Um, nine, ten times out of ten, I'm going to say nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten, you would want to run Voice Attack as administrator. Um, it's, the reason for that is, is if you don't run it as administrator, Star Citizen just does not hear. Um, the key commands, um, much the same way with touch, touch uh, OSC bridge. If you, you have to run that as administrator in order for voice attack to uh, to hear those uh, key commands that are being sent. Um, so yeah, with uh, say this example, Control Shift Alt Zero with this push button, we're sending it uh, on the release of that button, and we have local feed feedback off, and then and voice attack. We would create a command um, to say when I press Control Alt Shift uh, Zero and do not allow key to be passed through. It's important because we don't actually want to uh, send this to Star Citizen. We want to send something else. Um, so there's our command, and then in here um, we can say you know execute a command that's already there or we can just play some sounds um, we can do all kinds of crazy stuff I'll leave that up to you to figure out um, the documentation on voice attack is detailed and uh, you can definitely figure out all the good stuff there what I want to show now is how to uh, what the iPad version of touch OSC looks like and uh, connect that via the touch OSC bridge and get that going so let me show you that here quick all right, so on the iPad, the Touch OSC is down here in the um, bottom right here. Let's fire it up. This is the uh, option screen within Touch OSC. And here at the top, there's like a multiple ways you can connect. connect. This way, with the, um, the OSC connection, you would want the iPad and the computer to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Um, you would get the IP address of your computer, put it in the host, um, the outgoing port. You could set that to whatever you want. And then the incoming, which you're not worried about, that would be the two-way binding communication and what port we want to communicate. The way that I use is Touch OSC Bridge. And the reason why I like Touch OSC Bridge is it'll still connect via the same Wi-Fi, but it'll also allow you the USB connection. Um, so you don't need Wi-Fi. You can actually plug your iPad into your computer and um, connect that way. Um, the layout... There's uh, multiple default layouts it comes with. Most of it's rooted around uh, audio. Um, I, uh, there's an add button at the top. It's, uh, you put the uh, Tetuous um, editor in sync mode. You would go to layout and then hit add, and it would uh, you'd pick the computer and it would uh, upload that this layout um, up to the um, to the iPad or Android. And this is the uh, layout once it's uh, up on the iPad and then basically you fire up uh, you would run the touch OSC bridge um, as administrator and then uh, voice attack as administrator um, and and then fire up star citizen and if you had all your key bindings and everything correct uh, it all should work just great so go forth and do good things